CA Hoops Weekly powered by Under Armour here at the Baltimore Arena. First round action has completed here tonight, Rob, and the first game didn't disappoint. It was, if that's a sign of things to come, we should have a very exciting championship. Well, it's been that way all season, Bobby. We shouldn't be surprised. It's been close games throughout the conference, a close conference race, and what do we get on the first night of the tournament? An two overtime. Game, yeah, two games right down to the wire. Start out with Elon and Towson, a back and forth game. Neither team really takes control. Towson, uh, Elon goes up by five with about five minutes to go, but Towson comes roaring back and forces overtime on a couple for McGlynn free throws. But then in the overtime, Elon, who hit 13 three-pointers on the night, comes up big, Tanner Sampson with one, and then the dagger from Austin Hamilton, and Elon comes away with an overtime victory. And they'll advance to take on the top seed, William and Mary here at noon. Rob, you got to believe, you know, after a physical game that went to overtime, fatigue may be a factor tomorrow for the Phoenix. It could be, but these teams split during the regular season. Elijah Bryant with a huge Huge game tonight with 21 points, five people in double figures. Elon can score the ball. We know William & Mary can score the ball, one of the top offensive teams in the league. That one should be fun tomorrow. Then our second game this evening, College of Charleston, the 10th seed knockoff Drexel. Of course, you know the story behind Drexel playing short man tonight. Yeah, and it came, it came through tonight. It, Drexel ahead at the half. Charleston is able to rally in the second half. They wore Drexel down. Mm -hmm. And uh, Canyonberry comes up big, scored six points in the last two and a half minutes to uh, put College of Charleston on top. He finishes with a game high 19 points for the Cougars, and, and they'll have a chance to advance in, uh, to Saturday's quarterfinal play. Of course, College of Charleston's first CA Hoops tournament, CA basketball tournament win here tonight as they knock off Drexel. And, and Charleston will advance to take on the second seed, UNCW, in the first game of the night session. Yeah. Yeah, it should be an interesting matchup because UNCW and, and uh, Charleston both pride themselves on playing tough defense. UNCW likes to force the tempo a little bit, pressure defense, and that's what Charleston did tonight. So two good defensive teams. It'll be interesting to see on the offensive end, you know, who, who's able to fare better on that end of the floor. Tomorrow at 2.30, we'll have Hofstra taking on JMU. Should be a great 4-5 game. Yeah, great. 4-5 is always a great matchup. And these two teams just saw each other last Saturday in Harrisonburg, so very familiar with each other. You know, the two teams that can score the ball, kind of like our first game. So the afternoon session should be pretty high scoring. But a lot of talented players, especially in the backcourt, Wanye Green for Hofstra, Ron Curry for JMU. That, those two would be fun to watch. Then the late game at 8.30, we have our defending champions, the Delaware Blue Hens, taking on Northeastern. Yeah, that's, both of these teams split during the, they split during the regular season, each one on the other's home floor. Mm -hmm. you got a veteran team in Northeastern, a lot of seniors and juniors on that team. When they're right and, and shooting the ball well, it's awful tough to beat. But you got a Delaware team that's awful hot right now, finished the season with a couple of wins on the road. They are the defending champions, have some good karma in this building. That one sets up to be a great way to end our day. Oh, absolutely. It should be. A very exciting day tomorrow here at the Baltimore Arena. If you're not in the if you're not in the area, all four games tomorrow on Comcast Sportsnet affiliates up and down the East Coast and across America. Check your local listings. If you do not have it in your area, log on to CA.tv for the live simulcast. For Rob Washburn, I'm Bobby Broyles. We'll be here tomorrow night to recap it all and get you ready for semifinal Sunday.